At the end of this module, you will be able to explain the process of respiration in the plants, differentiate between photosynthesis and respiration, explain how the aerial roots function. Children, you would be surprised to know that plants do respire. In this session, we will learn about the process of respiration in the plants. Plants respire all the time because their cells need energy to stay alive. But plants can only photosynthesize when they are in the light. Each plant part breathes through its external layer of cells. Roots breathe through root hairs. Stems breathe through epidermis. Leaves have numerous small pores called stomata for breathing. Let us learn about them in detail one by one. The exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the leaf occurs through pores called stomata. Normally, stomata open when the light strikes the leaf in the morning and close during the night. The immediate cause is a change in the pressure gradient or the turgor of the guard cells. The inner wall of each guard cell is thick and elastic. When turgor develops, the thin outer walls of the stoma bulge out forcing the stoma to open. When the guard cells lose turgor, the elastic inner walls regain their original shape and the stoma closes. Woody stems are covered with suberin, a waxy waterproof substance. So cork is as impervious to oxygen and carbon dioxide as it is to water. However, the cork of woody stems is perforated by non-suberized pores called lenticles. They enable oxygen to reach the intercellular spaces of the interior tissues and carbon dioxide to be released to the atmosphere. I have read that plants also manufacture their food with the help of sunlight, water and carbon dioxide from the air. How is photosynthesis different from respiration? As we can see from the word equations, respiration and photosynthesis are opposites. Respiration uses oxygen and produces carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis uses carbon dioxide and produces oxygen. It is important to note here that the plants respire all the time, whether it is dark or light. They photosynthesize only when they are in the light. Let us have a look at how plants behave in the day and in the night. Children, the presence of light also affects the plant physiology. Let us learn about it. Understand the effect of light on the processes of photosynthesis and respiration in plants. Conditions Photosynthesis versus respiration Overall result Dark Respiration No photosynthesis Oxygen taken in Carbon dioxide given out Dim light Photosynthesis rate equals respiration rate Neither gas is taken in nor given out, as each cancels the other out. Bright light Photosynthesis rate greater than respiration rate. Carbon dioxide taken in, oxygen given out. You must have heard that some plants have aerial roots also. So how do they work? Let us find out. Some plants like mangrove and orchids have aerial roots that grow from their stems and absorb water directly from the air. In addition to providing structural support, aerial roots play an important part in providing oxygen for respiration. Oxygen enters the trees through the lenticles in the roots. 
I am sure you have now understood everything about the process of respiration in animals as well as in plants. I shall soon meet you with another interesting module. Bye-bye. By the end of this module, you have learnt about Explain the process of respiration in the plants Differentiate between photosynthesis and respiration Explain how the aerial roots function